Hello, this is Melorian, and this is going to be a 2,000 point game of my Orcs up against some Empire. Alright, so a buddy of mine from way back decided to get back into fantasy, and so we're having a game here, and really, I mean, I, I think he's played maybe one, maybe two games of 8th, so I really wanted to take a, a, a funner army that wasn't as competitive. I let him know, and he actually scaled back his army too, which is not something I expected. But let's go over the armies first. Uh, the... What I have here from left to right is 20 orc archers, I have 5 wolves with spears and bows, then 25 orcs with banner and shield, I have the rock lava, I have the arachnarok, a boar chariot, uh, well 3 more units of 25 orcs with shield and banner, 2 doom divers, 5 spiders, a wolf chariot, two spear chukkas, and then super orc. So savage orc with extra chap, uh, flying carpet, two plus save, and a charm shield. So as you notice, there's no BSB and no magic. The army is set up so that there's not many goblins. It's all set up so it can kind of act independently. Uh, maybe I can do some interesting maneuvers with flanking and redirecting and stuff. But, you know, for the most part, just something that should just get out there and get a good scrum in and, you know, Super Orc's always cool. Uh, on his side, from left to right, he has a cannon. He has five pistoliers. He then has, I believe it's like 40 halberdiers. And in there, he's going to have one level two. He also has his arch elector. And I think that's it for that unit. Uh, then that middle one, that's a hero. Uh, in the right unit, he has a BSB, and he has another level 2. Both of his mages are using shadow magic. Then he has another cannon, and then he has a unit of 10 inner circle knights, and then he has a warrior priest in there. So, the mission we got here was for blood and glory, so trying going for breakpoint, which is actually, you now thinking back, I think we totally forgot to go for this. Uh, don't think it really mattered, but uh, anyway... The, the weirdest thing when I was starting to roll for this terrain is we only got five pieces, but I, when I rolled for it, it was river, 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 and then I got a hill, and then just Idol of Gork. So, lots of rivers here, and it's going to make things a little bit crazy, but at least they're on the sides, so the center will be fairly open. Uh, for this part here, I mean, what I, I really want to try and do is obviously I need to get to these cannons and shut them down before they do too much damage to me, but I'm pretty sure my Doom Divers can really mess up those knights. I'm hoping Super Orc can finish them off, especially if he has the Chariot helping him. Uh, the Pistoliers, I should just be able to shoot off the board, and then it's just really getting up and trying to scrum it out with those blocks and, you know, see how far I can get before the cannons do too much damage. So, we'll see what happens. And yeah, so this is just another game with Super Orc, and you know what, I just love this guy. <laughs> I, I really wish he was a little bit more competitive so I could take him to more tournaments, but you know what, any time I can break him out, I, I love to. So he eats Vanguard up, and then even though he had the plus one, I actually managed to uh, get first turn. So that was really great. Uh, what it really meant is that both both my fast cav units were able to zip right up so that they could get pretty close to the war machines. You can see the one on the right, I'm right there. The other one, because he had Vanguarded first, I was a little bit farther back, and so uh, my wolves can only go so far, but that should be a pretty easy charge distance. Uh, of course, I have no magic phase. Uh, otherwise, you can see Super Orc had gone to the flank, but what happened is my Doom Divers just went crazy on those knights, and then the last two just fled, and I can tell you right now, they went off the board. Board. So that was just fantastic. Uh, my rock lava actually misfired, but my other shooting just decimated those uh, pistoliers. They passed their panic, but he just was failing every single armor test I, I was forcing on him. And uh, yeah, there's just the one left. So not really a worry. He might get in my way, but I'm not overly worried. And uh, the nice thing too is on this turn, I had no anim animosity problems except for my third block of orcs, which actually got extra movement. So that's always good news. 
His first turn then, uh, what really happens here is there's not really much movement. Uh, he has his one level two that comes out just so he can be within range. I mean, at this point, he's already feeling he's in big trouble because he's lost a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and then he also has the one Pistolier come over to the Goblins. That's pretty much all of his movement. Uh, the Pistolier kills two Goblins, and they panic, and uh, they're just off there right now. At least they're still on the board. Uh, he tries shooting my Iraq Narok with the left cannon, does just two wounds. The right cannon misfires and can't shoot this turn or next turn. And then what he really does with his magic phase was actually pretty neat, something I haven't come across before in a game, where he takes the, the signature spell for both of his level twos, and it's the one that reduces movement. So both my first and second block are now only movement one, and he also used a Hurricaneum to go and spin around my second block. And so in this case here, it might not make that big of a deal because I have more blocks and all these things. But if you really think how this would have been if I would have taken my normal army with a big horde of savages and a big horde of black orcs, I mean, him just making it so that I can't move pretty much at all would have been massive. So, uh, yeah, a pretty interesting strategy that I just have never seen before. And, yeah, here's just a, a little close-up of my little problem area here and I mean maybe I'm missing something maybe in some metas this is a pretty big deal normally if I see shadow magic it's because you know they're going for crazy mind raiser or reducing toughness or stuff like that but I really don't see this spamming the uh, signature spell happening ever my turn two then don't really have any animosity issues so I'm moving up the best I can obviously those two blocks that are movement one can't really do too much and they're also blocking in the uh, the big spider there uh, my wolves rallied which was nice my orcs had to kind of walk into the river in order to try and put just a few shots into the pistolier and wasn't able to kill it. Uh, the shots I was able to send off were pretty much going into the left block there and I killed a few. Uh, nothing too much there. Uh, the only other thing I had happen was I charged obviously into the cannon just really with super orc and then the the spiders had moved over but I just of course wiped out the cannon but then rolled I think it was double sixes so I actually ran into the flank of that unit, which really wasn't part of the plan, but hey, whatever. And so looking at this situation here, I, you know, I didn't really want him charging in already, but uh, it's not really that bad of a thing. I mean, in this unit, he has his BSB and one of the level twos, so if I can start challenging and trying to deal with these guys, that would be great. And the other thing, too, is that if he ever has to reform to face me, then he'll be showing his flank to one of my big blocks. So and same thing too, if I break and he chases me, he's showing off his flank. So, you know what, this isn't too much of a bad thing, even if I do lose. On his turn, one of the interesting things that happened, though, is that in his magic phase, he first made Super Orc minus one toughness, and then with that, used the ability so he can be then switching uh, models. So, actually, I forgot to mention that in my last turn, I killed one of his level twos, the one that was out in the open, obviously. But what this did then is that that shifted over the level two that was remaining to the left unit, to the Halberdiers, and moving his Arch Lector to the right unit here. And he had a spell on him where he could re-roll his wounds, I think it was. So all of a sudden, I'm a little bit worried that he might have a silver bullet for Super Orc. So we'll have to, to see what happens. So, end of the turn, it looks like this. Uh, he went back and he shot another two of my wolf riders off, but I passed my panic test. Uh, otherwise, he shot into my spider again. I'm just down to two wounds. And then the only other thing there is that in the fight with Super Orc, uh, I made a challenge. He took it with his Arch Lector, and all he really had was a great weapon. I don't know if it was a special great weapon. You know, they have their magical ones. But I actually managed to do three wounds before he was even able to swing. So there you go. His general's dead. Uh, he still obviously has enough for his break points and all that stuff. But he actually won. Uh, I think by one, I passed my test. Obviously, I lose frenzy. And now he reformed to face me. And like I said, this is great because now I can flank him. And so that's what I do. I'm able to get, actually it was only thanks to the Idol of Gork that I actually made it, but the one block goes into their flank, a chariot goes to the front, and really these guys should be screwed now. 
Unfortunately, it didn't really go quite to plan. Uh, you can see otherwise, all my units are kind of moving up. The single wolf rider had charged into the cannon, because why not? But unfortunately, he killed me in combat. Uh, otherwise, I do a little bit of shooting that kills a few more of the halberdiers. And then in combat there, I just, you know, Super Orc, he was in a challenge with uh, just the unit champion. You know, I, I, I just kind of barely kill them type thing. Impact hits, I only did two. I didn't really do that much damage. So I think I won by four in the end, which is still pretty respectable. But he passed. And now that's going to start making things a little bit messy. His turn three then. And so what happens is the Hurricaneum comes into my flank. The Halberdiers are reforming to look over uh, well they kind of moved over and I was kind of kicking myself because the spider would have been able to see their flank except I angled it a little bit too much didn't matter in the end because it got cannon to ball to the face uh, my orcs passed their panic and then in the magic phase he actually reduces my toughness to toughness one but uh, un you know unluckily for him he only rolled like two impact hits or something uh, yeah I'm just missing two guys there and I'm now in a challenge with his BSB which is a pillow fight there and in the end I I think I lost this fight by one because a musician or something, and in the end, uh, you know, both my units held, so that's all good. My turn four, now this is where I get hurt by animosity because I rolled a double one, so my uh, number one and number two blocks were fighting each other, which really didn't help because I wanted to send them in. Uh, so instead, I had the chariot go to the flank of the Hurricaneum, uh, did some wounds there, did enough to win combat. Uh, this one, I can't remember by how much, three or something. The Hurricaneum broke, the unit held. I've now done one wound to the BSB, and I ran down the Hurricaneum. So that's pretty good. The bad news is, as you can see here, I'm about to be hit into the flank again. And so, yeah, this is the outcome of what happens here, which is really, I mean, he comes in here... <laughs> and as you can see, I should also mention that my last phase there, I did quite a bit of damage to his halberdiers with my shooting. My Doom Divers is doing awesome this game. But uh, obviously through combat uh, static res, he beat me. I thought, okay, maybe my block orcs will die, which they did because they got ran down. But super orcs to get away, right? No, he got ran down too. I just rolled like a four for him. So I just lost a whole bunch of points. But the good news here is that obviously I have this block just perfect here to take out his the remainder of his halberdiers and his uh, banner or his BSB at the same time. My turn five then, that's what I do is I charge them, I beat them, I break them, but I don't catch them. But you know, the, the two banners are, are dead and captured. Uh, I have one unit going towards a cannon, just trying to go for a long charge. Also trying to hit it with a stone thrower, but it misses. And otherwise my shooting went into the swordsman and killed some more again. His turn five, not much to really say. I think the cannon misfired. Uh, the <laughs> halberdiers failed to rally. But they go off the well. They go off the board. And what happened here is that he tried doing the spell where I be minus movement, and so I'm only my, movement one. But he also miscast, and he got the worst one. So he did a huge blast to his swordsman, almost killed them all, also killed his level two, and yeah, he's just in a very bad position now. And so yeah, my turn six. I have just one unit have a trouble with animosity fail the charge with the orcs on the cannon but my stone thrower thro takes it out and then my orcs get into the uh, swordsmen and they finish them off too so it's a uh, tabling on turn six so victory to the orcs and one of the things that we were kind of commenting after is that even though i kind of had designed this list to be fairly non-competitive and friendly and just interesting it actually did very well i mean there was just i had so many units and uh, models out there that i was able to a lot of times be in the perfect position to get into flanks and things i mean i really thought that i'd be having to do a lot more of baiting and and redirecting that never really came up but you know, even without that, it was just amazing how much I was actually able to do. Plus the damage coming from my war machines. Wow. I mean, <laughs> the the stone thrower did okay. I mean, it made its points back, if nothing else, from destroying the uh, the enemy cannon there. But man, those doom divers, they were just doing amazing because they pretty much always hit. And then I was rolling high for hits. And they're just, you know, stripping off a rank off of one of those big blocks every turn between the two of them. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, obviously, one of the big things that did change this game is the fact that I got to go first and how effective my first turn was. Uh, had he gone first, things would have been 
a little bit different. Uh, one of the things I was trying to set up is that if he did go first, he'd charge my spiders with his knights, I'd flee, and then Super Orc would hit them in the flank. But, you know, it's just... That's the way things went. I had a pretty crazy first turn. Uh, it would have been really just a complete wipeout. Had his one block not held on, that one big turn I had on them, it just would have been a massacre, I think, because he would have had almost nothing left at that point. But either way, we both had a lot of fun, and uh, it was pretty interesting, and I hope you liked watching it. Bye.